Hello, my name is Peter Baker, and today I will give you an overview on the High Income Child Benefit Charge and its implications for you. This piece of legislation was brought into effect in January 2013 under the Finance Act of 2012. Its purpose is to truncate child benefit from high-income households. You may be liable for this charge if you or a partner individually earns in excess of £50,000 and is in receipt of child benefit contributions. You must file your self-assessment tax return, SATR, by the due date, and if you are not registered to file a return, you must do so by the 5th of October 2013. If you are earning this amount or above, and have received child benefit since the 7th of January 2013, you must register for self-assessment by the 5th of October 2013 to pay this charge. You do not have to complete a tax return if your child benefit payments stop for a whole tax year, unless you need to for other reasons, but if in any doubt, it is best to contact us for direct advice relating to your personal circumstances. Anyone who has an individual income of more than £50,000 and receives child benefit may be liable to pay the high income child benefit charge. An individual who is liable can be you or a partner who receives the benefit, somebody else who receives the benefit and who contributes at least an equal amount for the upkeep of the child. A partner is your spouse or someone you are living with or have lived with during the relevant tax year. A civil partner you are living with or have done during the relevant tax year. The total tax charge is calculated at 1% of the child benefit accrued from every £100 that your individual income exceeds £50,000. However, you will never pay more than the amount of child benefit you have received for that tax year. We can advise you of the amount you are liable to pay, provided information has been provided in due time. You can also go online and access the Child Benefit Tax Calculator to find out how much you or a partner may be liable for. That website address is https colon forward slash forward slash www.gov.uk forward slash child hyphen benefit hyphen tax hyphen calculator. If you are liable, you must register for self-assessment tax return, SATR, by the 5th of October 2013 if you have received a benefit payment after the 7th of January 2013. For SATR 2012-13, you will be required to declare the amount of child benefit received by you or a partner for the tax year from the 7th of January 2013 to the 5th of April 2013. You can inform the Child Benefit Office that you want to stop receiving child benefit payments. You will still need to declare any benefit received up to when the payment ceased. If you do not want to pay the charge in a lump sum, you can elect to aggregate the charge through your PAYE tax code, providing you owe less than £3,000. You will normally qualify for child benefit if you are responsible for a child under 16 years old or contribute equally to the child's upkeep and if you live in the UK. You are able to cease receiving payment of child benefit by filling out the online form available at the address shown here or by calling the Child Benefit Helpline on 0845 302 1444. Only the person receiving the child benefit is entitled to stop the payments. If you wish to resume your child benefit, you may inform the Child Benefit Office or fill out an online form to find out if you are still eligible. Only the person who has stopped the benefit or an appointed agent may apply to restart the payments. Payments usually resume on the Monday after your request. The Child Benefit Office will write to you to inform you of the outcome and whether you are entitled to any retrospective payments. Depending on your circumstances, you may be eligible for back payments from up to the previous two years. Well, 
HMRC determine whether you have exceeded the threshold for child benefit allowance by calculating your adjusted net income for that tax year. You may deduct any pension contributions or gift aid donations. Income for this purpose means gross salary, taxable benefits, net rental income, and any other income received. There are no penalties if you or a partner has exceeded the threshold for receiving child benefit, but you must inform HMRC so they can levy the high income child benefit charge. Failure to complete an on-time SATR or filling an incomplete or inaccurate return which does not declare the child benefit received within that tax year shall incur the normal penalties and fines in line with the HMRC guidelines. It is imperative that you report any changes in your circumstances, whether relating to yourself or the child for which you are claiming the child benefit. This may include change of address, family changes, absence from the UK, bank account details, or the child leaves school and begins work for more than 24 hours a week, changes to their education or training, starts job training, lives away for more than 56 days during a 16-week period, is expected to be in hospital or residential care due to illness or disability for more than 12 weeks, moves out of the UK permanently or is expected to leave the UK temporarily for more than 12 weeks, goes to Northern Ireland permanently, changes their name, marries or lives with a civil partner, goes missing, is held in legal custody for more than eight weeks. For a comprehensive list, please visit this website. This presentation has been intended to provide you with an understanding of the current obligations relating to child benefit and legislation changes. We understand and recognize that changes to the system may at times be difficult to keep up with and comply to. That's why our team at AVAR is on hand to assist you with any queries and concerns. We can speak with you to ascertain whether this affects you or anyone close to you, so that we are able to offer the necessary guidance. Should you have further questions or queries on this presentation, or indeed on any other matter, please don't send letters, emails or SMS, but please instead pick up the telephone and speak to one of our experts. You can speak directly with Ash Varma on 020-7684-2424 or 079 7360-6666 or alternatively speak to any member of the AVAR team on 020-7684-0606.